Hello everyone. It's usually your right, MC. Uh, so while we are enjoying the dinner, we have programs on our table and we would like to have toast made for us from friends and family. And after the dinner time, we'll have cake cutting and tea party, so you guys will have chance to give more speeches. And first toast would be from my best friend, my best woman, and maid of honor, Regina. Hi. <laughs> I will probably read most of it, because otherwise I'll be nervous. So, uh, uh, Regina, Misha, Mishinka. <laughs> Words cannot express how happy I am to see, to see the two of you declare your love to each other and how incredibly honored I feel to be a part of it. As most of you know by now, me and Regina became friends when we were two years old. In Russia, I'll tell you the story how we met. <laughs> In Russia, every year for about two, three weeks, certain parts of the city shut down hot water to fix pipes and perform general maintenance. <laughs> of course, it is always during hot summer months. That is when everyone goes to public saunas to shower. Back in uh, 1985, both Regina's mom and my mom were standing in line to one of those saunas uh, while me and Regina were playing close by. We were showing tongues to each other. <laughs> And um, that is when her mom called her by her name, and my mom did the same thing. So both of us were weirded out about it. So when we came to our moms, we said, Mom, how come uh, this lady knows my name? Our moms both laughed, started talking, and it just happened to be that uh, we were living a block away from each other. We were inseparable from that moment on. From doll tea parties to climbing trees and making snowmen, sharing books, music, clothes, thoughts, and dreams, we grew up like sisters living at each other's houses month at a time. Back then, I don't think either of us, um, either one of us realized how special our bond is and um, how rare it is to find a friend. <laughs> Um, a friend that you connect with on so many levels. And uh, how incredibly like it. we are that uh, hot water was turned off in our house at the same time 29 years ago. <laughs> and uh, here we are in San Francisco 29 years later celebrating the union of two amazing people. Regina, you had a lot of obstacles in your life. You've handled impossible situations with uh, incredible strength. I'm sure your mom and dad are watching from above right now, and their hearts are filled with joy. I remember you once said they would want me to be happy, and I'm going to continue smiling for that very reason. Every single event, happy or sad, shaped you in this beautiful, kind, thoughtful, strong, bright, and joyful person that you are right now. I'm thankful every day for your friendship, and I love you. And I'm not done. <laughs> Mishinka, you have a beautiful soul and heart. You lighten the room with your presence, and it's impossible to see your, your smile and do not want to smile back. I'm sure it has something to do with wonderful people who raised you <laughs> and surrounded you with love. I want to express my gratitude to your parents who taught you how to be loving and sensitive man that you are right now. As I said, Regina is like my sister. In my entire life, I have never seen her more happy and loved. She's glowing like never before. And you're the reason. I'm so glad she found an amazing man to be by her side.
Mutual love is rare to find. But the most important thing to remember is that a strong union is not only based on passion. The foundation is respect and kindness towards each other. You learn how to live together, how to work through disagreements, how to file joint taxes. <laughs> With that being said, I wish you to never lose your own individuality. After all, that is what made you fall in love with each other in the first place. Grow together and every day fall in love with each other just a little bit more. And um, I would like to apologize now for people who don't understand Russian because I would like to say some words in Russian. Regineчка, Мишенька, я безумно рада за вас. Вы им дополняете друг дружку. И больше всего я поражаюсь тому, как Регинина спонтанная хаотичность наконец-то сбалансирована Мишиным терпением и рассудительностью. Вы классные, сияйте счастьем изнутри. Поздравляю и желаю смотреть друг на дружку с такой же искренней любовью и теплотой и через 60 лет. I would like to raise my glass. Regina and Misha. You two are perfect together, and I cannot wait to become a favorite aunt for some little chubas to come. <laughs> Congratulations. Gorka! <laughs> 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 So right now, my brother, my best man, will say something nice about myself. <laughs> and Regina. <laughs> and his wife. Hi, everyone. Um, this is my wife, Vicky, and I'm his brother. Um, I'm going to say it in Russian, and she will say it in English, so everyone will get a fair treatment. Wow, Mishaenka. Слушай, нормально, нормально. Братуха женится, блин. Все вот не произошло. Я помню, когда вместе росли, Мишанька всегда за мной защищал меня, одежку мне всегда покупал, спасибо большое, советы мне, да, еще покупает тот. Потом, когда мы тоже опять вместе росли, я всегда след его стопам. Мы танцевали одно вместе. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Да. <laughs> в одну школу ходили, и он, я всегда следовал его хорошим примерам. Последовал моему примеру. <laughs> Это тоже хорошо. Я когда Мишаньку спрашивал, как, какая ему девчонка бы понравилась, или какую он может влюбиться, он всегда говорит, что у нее качества были такие. А, она добрая, хорошая, и очень трудолюбивная. И, конечно, и, конечно, он встретил Регину. Регина, ты наша царица, слушай. Ты первый раз шла, я тебе сразу сказал, что ты будешь наша теперь. Вот наша. У меня есть сестра, которую помучить можно. Я вас, ребятки, очень люблю. Я вас желаю самого лучшего в жизни. Много маленьких ребятишек и девчонок. И а, чтобы вы всегда были близко к нам. Хорошо, ребяточки? Вас очень люблю. Before I met Misha, I heard a lot about him. Actually, I met Zhenya and Misha through a mutual friend. So before I met him, I heard that he was living in an apartment in San Francisco. He had a good job, and he was pretty active in the dating world. <laughs> On the other hand, <laughs> I heard that his brother, his younger brother, was complete opposite side of the spectrum. He was living at home with his parents, uh, still trying to figure out what's going on with work life and no real prospects in the dating world. 
Shortly after Zhenya and I met, um, the roles kind of got reversed. Zhenya moved out of his parents' house while Misha moved back in. <laughs> Zhenya figured out what he was doing uh, work-wise, and now he had you know, a girlfriend, and Misha was still kind of lost in that field. <laughs> Shortly afterwards, he got his act together. He, <laughs> he, went, he moved out again. He, um, you know, he, still, he, had, he has a really good job, and he also found an amazing woman. <laughs> Misha, I'm so happy that you... Sorry. <laughs> Misha, I'm so glad that you got the push that you needed. But seriously, I'm so happy that you found your other half. You deserve the best, and you really, truly have found it. Now, enough about Misha, Nagina. When I first met you, I felt like I've known you my whole life. You're such an easy person to be around. You have such an open heart and an open spirit. You are smart. You're beautiful. You're really a terrific person. I don't have, you know, a sister and being that I only have an older brother, but I'm so happy that today that I have my first one. I have one coming, a second one coming as well. Being that we only, you know, have two months of married life experience, you know, we don't, I don't have all the secrets to successful marriage, but what I do know is just love each other, be kind to one another, and everything else will fall in its place. Love you guys. Gorka! <laughs> Поздравляем с днем свадьбы, сынок. Среди тысяч прохожих ты смог настоящее счастье найти и большую любовь обрести. Пусть же будет вот так всегда. Сердце к сердцу, к душе душа. Солнце к солнцу, к руке рука. И счастливая, мирная жизнь навсегда. Благодатны все судьбе, что послала Регину тебе. Беги ее нежность, люби и жалей. Стань достойным мужем и отцом ваших будущих детей. Ступки пусть будут твердыми решения. Пускай вам помогают шутки решать в семье все уравнения. Сердца пусть бьются в унисон, и будет жизнь, как сладкий сон. Ведь неспроста в заветный час любовь соединила вас. И две судьбы соединили два кольца чтобы были неразлучными сердца. Две дороги навсегда в одну слились, чтобы вечно продолжалась наша жизнь. С Богом! Добрый час! Hello everyone, before we go to the dancing room and while we're still finishing, I think we have like 5-10 minutes to finish food before we will do our first dance. Uh, we just wanted to thank each and every one of you for coming over, for joining us, for cooperating with an orange color and just it's amazing that each and every one of you in this room is a really close friend to us and we feel special and honored today with so much attention towards us i, I never had <laughs> and um yeah, we, yeah thank you very much yeah just wanted to um follow up to what regina said and uh, say thank you very much for coming thank you 
very much for enjoying this day, this special day with us. And um, hopefully you will enjoy the rest of the celebration. In five to ten minutes we're going to have a first dance, then a little bit of uh, dancing and games, and afterwards we're going to have a tea party, and then more dancing. Yeah. yeah, sorry we've been a little bit off the schedule, but as you know, weddings flying by, and luckily we can't wait to be tomorrow, and we don't have to plan anything, <laughs> <laughs> and we just left with sweet memories of today. Okay, and um, now we had long speeches of our closest family and friends, and when we will have tea party in this room, anyone is welcome to have a short toast and like scream more Gorka to us because kind of a little bit missing, but I think, yeah, you can do uh, So yeah, and we do have an open bar that open till 12. So some of you maybe had enough, some of you not yet. So, and yeah. So utilize open bar, have fun, and we hope to see you on the dance floor with your best moves. That's it. Ah, five more minutes, let's finish our plates and then our DJ Shant will invite us to the dance area in like three minutes or something. Or maybe it's up to you. <laughs> yeah, kind of three minutes. Thank you. I have to say a scene about Regina Chuba. So I thought I'll change it in a couple of years when I have to apply for citizenship in a year and a half. And today, the, when we got the marriage license, they said, why don't you do it now? It's so easy, and you don't have to pay like $900. So I did change my last name. <laughs> <laughs> why not? Chuba. OK, I'm going to steal some lines from the toast that were said before. I just want to, it's really short, because you said we, can, we have an opportunity to hear, say like a short toast. And, uh, um, so one of the things, I don't know who said that, that Regina, she's really, she's really easy to be around of. She's like so uh, open and natural and just, just the way she is. And not that we're really close friends or anything. I'm, I hang out with, with other Regina more than that, but uh, I don't know, make the Ufa thing or something like that. Uh, I'm really, uh, I'm thankful to know you. And you're a great person. You're really open. You're really uh, this is this is a quality that I really appreciate in people, and uh, you're just you're just great. I don't know you well, but I love you. <laughs> and uh, some someone have said about Misha that he has this really interesting smile, really honest, and really like. And you make her. I think maybe you make her so much more natural and so much more what, what she is, because I don't know, I, again, uh, I don't know her well, but uh, you said that, right? That she's glowing with him, and uh, that's what I say too, and uh, you guys are a great couple, and I, I wish you to stay so, and uh, just, just enjoy this, enjoy this life, this, this great, this experience that we have, this is just, all we need, all we need. <laughs> Love is all we need, right? <laughs> Congratulations, guys. <laughs> the other day I was thinking and I realized one thing, that I know Regina since 2005. And I know Misha since 2007. And I always knew them separately until 2013. Right? So uh, that, that, that was funny, actually, because I remember when Regina told me, oh, you know, there was this 
weird guy on Muni that was trying to <laughs> pick me up. Uh, he had such a last name, Chuba. I was like, oh, I know the guy. He, he, he's actually okay. He's good. I, I mean, you, 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 should, you should totally meet him sometime. And, uh, and like a couple of years later, I met them together. And, and that was great. And, since, and, and, and so fast, they went to Vegas and moved in like a week. And since then, they're together. And that's, that's so great. I, I'm so happy for both of you because uh, I know you f both for a long time, and you really complete each other, and I just have no other words just to say that I'm happy for you, and thank you for having us here, for this, giving us this chance to celebrate it with you, and uh, hopefully we'll uh, see some little chiburashkas soon. And, uh, uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, Chuba Chuba, or Chibur either Chiburashka or Chewbacca, there should be no, <laughs> there, are, there, there are only two options here, right? <laughs> so, yeah, also, yeah. I want also to, uh, to say a couple of words. Um, I know Regina not that long as Oleg, but I'm his wife and I want to give her a practical advice. <laughs> So, um, I want to um, wish you to enjoy this moment, not only today, but for the rest of your life. And I want to give you this checkbook, what's inside. So, you have to take advantage, because I know Misha will make everything for you. I also know Misha, and he's a really dedicated guy, and very respon responsible. So what you have to do is just take one check and it's already written for you. So for example, Misha have to go with me for the shopping and wait the whole day near the dressing room. Or like, yeah, patiently. Or like another one. <laughs> or like another one when um, Misha has to... Mm, to tell you every day how much he loves you. So like there are like around 100, I think, of wishes for Misha. <laughs> so tomorrow you can put the dates on and use this in your married life. There is another checkbook that should have gone to Misha, but that one is like PG 60 plus, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, yeah I'll, no, I'll, I'll pass it in words sometime, right. Okay, so congratulations, we're happy for you, and Gorka. Gorka! В лужах делить с тобой, теплый ужин делить с тобой, оставаться нужным и быть с тобой. Странно, я раньше не думал, что так бывает, что все способно так закрутиться. Насколько важно, шагая по краю, любить, дорожить, мечтать, как нам устремиться. Ты на обложку Космо, я на обложку Forbes, чтобы быть рядом даже на полках газетных киосков. И пока вертится глобус, цепляясь за ось, Не разминуться на одном из перекрестков. Звезды в луже делить с тобой, Теплый ужин делить с тобой, Оставаться нужным и быть с тобой. Звезды в луже делить с тобой, Теплый ужин делить с тобой, Оставаться нужным и быть с тобой. 
Проспект укрыт покрывалом тумана Люди лениво листают пресс А мы вторим аккордом пиано Пока у пара готовят эспрессо Еще немного и пора бежать Буквально 15 минут Нам столько нужно друг другу сказать Пускай дела чуть-чуть подождут Звезды в луже делить с тобой Теплый ужин делить с тобой Оставаться нужным и быть с тобой Звезды в луже делить с тобой Теплый ужин делить с тобой Оставаться нужным и быть с тобой
So, in brief, in the way that these people met, there is some good magic. Back a couple of years ago, I was back home, and I thought, my friend Misha is single. What is a good gift for him? So, I bought a doll, which is dressed like a traditional Tatar woman, because I wanted to show how beautiful Tatar women are to a friend of mine. So, I brought it here, and I gave it to Misha, and I said, this is how your future wife is going to look like. <laughs> and here I am right now, and I'm seeing you again, and Misha, and I'm wishing you guys to be always happy and keep on having some good magic in your future wife. Давайте, мне нужно махнуться машинами, потому что я купил большую 
картину. Я нахожусь в Айкие, и вам надо туда подъехать, забрать эту картину. А, да, с траком. Поэтому мы эту картину погрузим в трак, вы возьмете мою машину. В общем, вот так. Мы с папой, конечно, сразу бегом едем, подъезжаем, встречаемся. А уже темно было, вот как сейчас. И, значит, мы видим Миша и видим его машину, видим большую картину. Мы с папой выходим, и вдруг из-за картины выглядывает маленькая такая девчушечка. Картина большая, а за картиной маленькая девочка. Мы, Миша нас не предупредил. Мы с папой думаем, вот какая маленькая девочка, еще ничего не поняли. Это маленькая девчушка берет эту большую картину и старается помочь нам погрузить ее в трак. После того, как мы погрузили эту машину, мы с папой, картину машину с папой сели, и я такая говорю, ой, пап, как ты думаешь, этой девчушке 16 лет есть или нет? А папа говорит, наш сын моложе, чем 18 лет с девочками, встречаться не будет. Вот так мы познакомились. Я хочу вам, деточки, пожелать огромной любви, крепкого здоровья, прекрасной, длинной, красивой, счастливой, мирной жизни, чтобы все ваши мечты сбывались, чтобы все в вашей жизни исполнилось, все мечты ваши, и чтобы все было здорово. И я хочу поблагодарить Лидочку и родителей, за то, что они вырастили такую добрую, необычайную, необыкновенную девчонку. И что она досталась нашему сыночку. И желаю вам всего самого-самого наилучшего. Самого. С Богом. Бойка! Бойка! Мы с ней целый год проработали, она была моя начальница. Да, я знаю Регина уже два не года. So, um, I work with her, and Regina was the first person in our company uh, was working for, you know, for us in the San Francisco office. And uh, the way we met was kind of interesting, because I told my friend, uh, we are looking for a very, very nice person who I can count on. And she told me, okay, you know, I know one girl, and you should meet her. So I met Regina, and the first time when I saw her, I was like, I like the girl. I really, really like her. And we started to work together. When, what I would like to say, that actually about IKEA, um, we had an empty office, and Regina and I, we went and we bought all the furniture. And of course, we were thinking, okay, how the heck are you know, we going to bring it to our office? Because it's like, you know, eight tables and the couch and the pillow. And suddenly, uh, I see Misha. So he's there, you know, helping us. And he has this like, tool chair. And uh, I was thinking, I'm getting uh, two for the price of one. <laughs> but um, I know it's, uh, I mean, uh, this is just a joke. But the bottom line is that I'm very happy that I met you guys. And uh, I'm so glad that Regina is such a nice, open heart person. And uh, it, I mean, this, is just, uh, this is just the best thing that we've met each other. Because it's very hard to meet a person like her, because she's very kind, she's open, and she's authentic. And uh, Misha, I, I like you so much because you make her happy every day. She goes to work and she has these big eyes and she's happy. And I'm thinking, you guys are perfect to each other. And thank you so much for being in my life. And I'm glad that we had a time together. And I just wish you a lot of luck. And from my experience, I was married for a long time. Is you just have to treat each other every day with a lot of love, and of course you're gonna fight, and of course you're gonna have, uh, you're gonna have misunderstandings. But the bottom line, you are, you know, um, happy and you love each other, and this is the most important part of the whole entire life. So what I wish you uh, that you know to have the same experience that I have in my life, just to be very happy for a very long time, have a beautiful children, and have a wonderful family which you already have. And I love you. I love you. You're amazing. Thank you all. Oh, thanks.
Uh, one of my uh, best friends would like to say a few words as well. Uh, hi everyone. Uh, well, I first came to US about five years ago, and the first one, first months, I was I didn't have any friends, and it was hard to meet anybody. So I looked up in the internet. There's a, like a Russian party going on, and I went to bar to meet, not girls, as you would expect, but guys. <laughs> so, the first guy I meet was Misha. So, I wasn't looking for girls, I was looking to meet guys. And uh, I'm very glad I met Misha. He's, he's a very uh, positive and person, great person and a very good friend. And special thanks to Regina that this person didn't change after meeting and being with you. He only uh, started to shine more. And I wish you happiness, love. That's it. Thank you. So, um, Katya and I have been knowing Misha for some time now. I actually met Misha back in 2004, so that's been about 10 years now. That was back before many of you guys have known him. He was very fresh from the boat. Uh, first, I actually knew Jenny. We went to uh, high school together. And about a year later, he introduced me to Misha. I mean, so Misha for a good year was a very well kept secret. No one knew him, no one saw him, but I knew that Jenny had a brother. And from the beginning, Misha taught me some really, really deep, just, just very important life lessons that are still close to my heart. He taught me how to drink and how to smoke. <laughs> very close to my heart. Um, I, need, I need to check it out, actually. Uh, <laughs> um, and, and, and interestingly, it was at a time when Misha did not drink nor smoke, so he, he's more of a giver, he's not a taker. <laughs> I was very forever grateful for that. Um, so Misha and I, was, so Jenny and I went to high school together for, for a year or so, but then after a year I went to community college, and, and that's what, where Misha and I were taking the same classes. We, we went to DDC for two years, and, and then we actually roomed together in Berkeley for, uh, for a year, and we graduated together uh, five years ago. And um, there's one very interesting story that, that happened about three or four years ago, because this is where Regina comes in. And it's a story about a magical apartment. So, so first, Misha and I roomed together for about half a year. And Misha's like, look, you know what? I'm not ready for this. You know, Dima and I, like, we're, we're close, but we're not, you know. I, uh, I want to move back to my parents' house for, for about a year, half a year. And, and so he does, and so I move into a really beautiful studio, it's about 250 square feet um, in San Francisco, costs about 4000 a uh, month or something like that, but it was beautiful, it was really 250 beautiful square feet, half of my bed actually fit in there. And then, uh, well, I already knew Kaiti, but then Kaiti graduated, and then she moved with me into that apartment, where there was only one bed. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> and after about a year, Katya got so uh, Katya and I got so close that we decided to 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 become serious, and we found a, a bigger place, and then we eventually became engaged. Now, as we're moving out, Misha's like, you know what? That's not, that's not a bad idea. He's like. What if I move into your apartment? Because I, I just met Regina. No, he didn't meet me. He was single. Close enough. Well, <laughs> so a month or two months later, Misha meets Regina. And uh, very soon from the conversations here before, they actually move in together. And guess what? This happens very, very soon. So if any of you guys haven't caught the uh, bouquet or the uh, band, if you're
you're really interested, it's a really good apartment. <laughs> It's, 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 it's your eyes for a feed, but... What but, one is mirror? But magical. And, and, and to make it look uh, a little larger, more like 400 square feet, there's a giant mirror in there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. The entire wall. So I'm not quite sure how that fits into the picture, but, 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 but the, uh, the, apart the apartment is actually really, really, really nice. Um, and so one thing about Misha that I want to say, and then about Ramin, is that Misha is incredibly determined. He's incredibly easy going, which is actually very hard to mix those two. And he is undeniably from the 90s. <laughs> 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 is that the <a> <laughs> It is if you're easy going and determined. <laughs> and, um, and, 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 and Misha is an incredible friend, and, 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 and he's always there for you. And now, uh, to mix that easy goingness with, with someone else's, enters Regina who is also incredibly easygoing. And uh, when she entered our life, she entered our life incredibly seamlessly. We, we didn't even know that we didn't even know her, if that makes sense. We, it felt like we knew her for, 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 for a very long time. And that easygoingness, that, that sort of ability to have fun and enjoy life is, is incredibly compatible between me and me. And uh, when, when you entered our life as well, I mean, we've been incredibly grateful for the past couple of years. And um, I can to say a couple of things as well, but, but I just want to say <laughs> congratulations. Uh, I'm incredibly happy for you, and it's, it's just great to see you guys. Sorry, I'm going to speak in Russian. I'm going to begin with the version of the Hi everyone. I'm DJ and I went to college with uh, Regina, Sasha, Chelsea, and Rue. So I've known Regina since 2005 for a very long time. And I have um, had the opportunity to work with her. We live in the dorms together. Yes, we had crazy parties in the dorms together too. So uh, I would say I am very happy. And thank you very much for inviting me and my wife. And sorry we had to drag our kids, so. We're great. <laughs> so my God loves the dad, so can you do it? So um, thank you very much, and I'm very happy, and I'm very, very happy for you, Regina, because I know you had very some tough times, and we were together for those. And uh, I know you have overcome all the barriers, and you have been a very strong person. And I am very happy, sincerely, and Misha, you're a very lucky guy. She is an amazing girl, so take care of her, and uh, you guys will have many happy years together, and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. So happy for them. So Regina was actually the first person I met when I moved to California. Um, I would definitely say that she was the first friend. Um, I think because of her outgoing personality and just her usual happy spirit, um, she was actually the first person that said hi to me when I moved to California, and I can still remember in the door. <laughs> And so um, it's interesting that you know she reached out to me. And it ended up that we were both hurricane victims from Hurricane Katrina in New Orleans, um, but we didn't know that at first. And I just remember it was really special. I was kind of shy. I was in a whole new place. I didn't know anyone. And Regina just randomly reached out and said, "Hey, how's it going?" or something like that. Um, and that was really endearing. I just you know to have someone you don't even know reach out and talk to you really special and then to know that we came from a similar situation um, we had a lot of, of things to share and a lot of stories to talk about so so then we came we became very good friends and um, I've known her since and it's almost been 10 years that we have been in California um, and I know through she's gone through some hard times and 
I've always thought, wow, she deserves you know, something great to come in her life. I really hope that happens to her. And I'm so happy that now, you know, that's happening. And after I met Misha, I, I knew that he was a great guy and they truly deserve each other. So to Regina and Misha, very happy. Thank you. Well, uh, this is a hard one for me because Regina was one of the first friends I had here. I moved here about seven years ago and uh, Regina was one of the friend of the friends of the friend that actually just gave me a call from out of nowhere and she called me and she said, hey, I know we're from the same hometown and I just want to be your friend. And how can you say no to that? I said, well, of course, let's meet up. And she just be we became friends ever since. And like the three of us, Regina and Regina and me, we were friends ever since for seven years. And I can not express, like we went through a lot of ups and downs and through, like we just supported each other for, everything and I just can't I, I don't even know what to say like like <laughs> she's like I believe that friends are your family outside of your hometown or whatever your country is you're they become your family and Regina's been my family both Regina's are actually <laughs> So thank you guys, and like home is where your heart is, and finally Regina found her heart, and thank you Misha. Спасибо что ты на самом деле на самом деле Регина нашла свою семью. Это очень важно для меня и для всех, кто очень любит Регину и как бы ты знаешь, что ты очень много для меня значишь и для всех нас. И это настоящая твоя семья сейчас. Just a, a short bit of advice that I've picked up. Uh, a little, little bit of Russian advice and a, a sword to follow. Um, so uh, I've been with Rina for a few years and she's imparted on me a bit of advice that might help you. It may not be news, but the man in the relationship is the head. We have all the ideas, we have the vision, you know, we know everything, except the woman in the relationship is the neck, and the head is turned by the neck. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like you. <laughs> so, um, I really didn't understand that until I met Rina, or Regina and, and Misha. Uh, we, went, we went out for dinner, the four of us, and driving home, Misha was racing down Geary or O'Farrell or something, and our turn was coming up, and it was coming up fast, and the head couldn't turn to see the turn. Uh, and Regina was letting him know from the, from the, the uh, passenger side, La lleva, la lleva, la lleva, please! <laughs> we made the turn just fine. <laughs> but it truly is, Misha, remember, the, uh, the woman is the neck and the, the man is the head. So I wish you all the best. Thanks so much for having us. I love you. <laughs> Мне так и хочется извиниться, что нет чая. Ладно, for my Russian friends. Так и хочется извиниться, что нет чая. Но на самом деле, когда я делала не больше яичниц с этим отелем, ну я не знаю, где он, с отелем, я вообще не знаю, не люблю. Карины многие могут сказать, я ненавижу всегда деньги и готова всегда все отплатить. И у меня был negotiation, много чая. My negotiation for this hotel was like, I love it. What is it? What is it? Tatar girls like grow up on tea on like 20 cups an hour. Sorry. Уже пошла пьянка. Hello everyone, my name is Johnny. I am part of Regina's non-Russian-speaking adopted family. 
Um, even though I don't speak Russian, I knew what you were saying. <laughs> um, I just want to say that Regina is an amazing person, and anyone to capture her heart, uh, like you have, Misha, is got to be equally as amazing. I want to wish you both years and years of happiness together, and amazing adventures. Enjoy it. So um, I wasn't the only one working with Mike for a long period of time. All of us, well, half of us at the table seven worked with Mike. The rest are significant others. And um, in many ways, Mike touched all of us in the most positive way. When we were having a hard time, he came up and said, look, wait, it's going to get better. And he told me when and how, and well, it's exactly when and how it got better. For half of us, he trained us. He had our back, he supported us, and we all just are super, super grateful. And as far as Mike and Regina, um, we were there when you started dating, but I'm laughing about this evening. What people are saying about you is so true, and that's what we are feeling. You are so great together. You give each other such complimentary parts. You have personalities that mesh well and bring together something that just works together beautifully. So we are very, very happy for you. It's a great occasion. And Regina, I love um, everybody saying that you make each other happy. It's something that you can tell. And so many people are repeating the same thing. Since you've been together, something is different about you. You're together and you're happy. I'm just really hopeful that for many, many years to come, you have a wonderful foundation. So good luck, you guys. Thank you. OK, Regina, uh, we cannot uh, say we know you for a long time, but I would say it's not the uh, quantity, it's the quality. So uh, I remember that night very good when I uh, met another orange Regina in End up the and she said that uh, uh, my first question was the Regina, not the Regina. She said she's the way to Las Vegas with the guy uh, she barely knows. And then second, I had some kind of feeling, and I'm so proud that I'm feeling like really so <laughs> proud of myself. I knew from that second that that's gonna happen. So. I'm really happy for you, I love you, and I wish you like the best of marriage, love, many children, and many numbers in this place. Thank you. Thank I'll speak without the mic. This is I have a beautiful voice. And as an expert groom, I can tell you that uh, from my experience that uh, uh, we went through the procedure today, a certain procedure, which is uh, kind of uh, sets the, not the final, but the beginning stage, kind of a final in the beginning stage. And uh, we all witnessed how uh, Misha gave you a ring. So uh, we all know that you're married. So it was like a symbolic thing. Why we give a ring, we know that you're actually married. And uh, by marriage, he is saying that he's gonna support you and stuff like that, and the kids. But uh, there is such an idea that uh, marriages are uh, um, actually sealed in heaven. And uh, when uh, two people get together, when they get married together, it's not only the physical union or the party, because you could just throw another party, right? But we go through all these procedures and all these like, symbols, symbolic things, which symbolize something that, uh, like you take something from under the skirt, right? That you're permitted to do this, so you give a ring. We say this, do you, do you take your wife? So there's some kind of a meaning with your intentions that really symbolizes that it's not only a physical union, because it's a physical union, we put you in the same room and that's it, right? It's a spiritual union. And I hope that, uh, like I said, like uh, as an expert uh, husband, right? <laughs> or, uh, this union should be not only stop here, it should uh, be... Uh, uh, viewed and uh, essentially resulted in beautiful kids. And it should be at least one boy and one girl. That's what I'm saying. If more, it's good. But uh, the idea is of the marriage that uh, when people have intimacy and when they have kids together, 
It's not only a product of two bodies, but it's a product of two souls. And when you have a boy and a girl, it's you, Regina, and you, Michael, become not only husband and wife, but you literally become blood, sister, and brother. So this soul will keep carried on in your kids, within you, mixed in you together, and you'll be not only married in heaven and with us like witnesses, but with your kids physically. it will be sealed physically in this world as you'll be blood, brother, and sister. It's another level of relationship. So uh, good luck to you. And um, we, we know it will be good. Congratulations. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. So my name is Igor. I've known Misha. I was probably one of the first people he met when he went to DVC, so early stages of his being in the United States, and which is over 10 years now. What, um, like I said, I know him for a long time, so what shocks me the most kind of about him is if you know him really well, you will never, s you will see how positive he is all the time. You will see him smiling all the time, although he might, you know, be mad or something, he will still smile, he will still show that Hollywood smile, you know, poker face, which is awesome, like he's doing right now. <laughs> And uh, basically, he's a really good friend. Um, the only thing is, like, lately, my only question to him when I see him is, like, you know, are you back in Long Creek? Are you in San Francisco? You know, because I can't keep track of it. He's been moving so much lately. But since he met with Regina, he's staying put. Thank God. I don't have to keep track of that. I just want to wish you guys happiness. Um, like I said, positivity is very important, and he's a super positive person, and I see you are as well, and I think that's going to attract the most, and just be happy. Thank you.